kind of like why we got into this in the first place. Mm-hmm. Which is scary cool. That's awesome. <laughs> but like, you evolved beyond it to actually want to provide that. What's up guys and welcome to this video and this I think is going to be a really informative video that you're going to want to watch because we're going to talk about the big reason why 99% of people fail at business or entrepreneurship. So whether or not you believe it, 99% of people watching this video will fail at entrepreneurship. Everyone gets into entrepreneurship and they believe that they're going to be the next big thing. Like I'm going to prove everyone wrong. I'm going to be a massive successful millionaire entrepreneur. I'm going to be the next Ty Lopez, the next Grant Cardone and I'm gonna make millions, I'm gonna prove everyone wrong, I'm, I'm gonna become super successful. Everyone thinks that going into it. Me as well, like yeah. I genuinely do believe those things about myself. And I think that I'm like everyone else, so everyone thinks that, but the truth yes, is, 99% of people will never actually achieve that. Only 1% of people will reach that status of super successful in so business. 99.9%, how 90, about that? Yeah, 99%, like one in 100, Getting to like millionaire status is it's not even that. It's one in a thousand probably. Yeah. Okay. And like I genuinely believe I will get there. You watching it, you're sitting there like they're not talking about me. I'm the one percent. Good. And that's just that's just the way the human brain works. So if you believe that, that's good. But the truth is 99.9% of people will fail. And there's a few big reasons why, but what we believe to be the core foundation of it is because people want to get rich quick. And when you want to get rich quick, you're missing the number one component in business. Like a lot of the stuff we're gonna talk about is just business foundational stuff that you need to be aware of. And that is providing value. People want to and think they can get rich quick, become super successful, become Ty Lopez. Here in my garage, there's all these people without actually providing value. So cutting corners, providing shit products, shit services, just a shit business and think you can become super successful. Yeah. Now the intro of this video where we quoted Ollie, we were out to lunch with Ollie, we were catching up, we were just having a conversation, just talking, that wasn't planned out. Yeah. When yeah. we look back at the conversation, like that's actually really valuable. Dan was just filming it and made the sick edit out of it. I was like, oh, nice. Let's, well, let's make a talk video. about what he said right because there. It's true. That what is- he said is 100% true and it applies to us. That the reason we first got into entrepreneurship mm-hmm. was to get rich quick i can speak for myself that's, that's why how everyone gets into us. that's why everyone gets into any online business model and over time you learn that that's not how it works but at yeah. first that's why we get into this everyone gets into entrepreneurship because they think it's the easy route to riches so for me i of course wanted to make a shitload of money and i couldn't uh, do that having a job yeah so like how else then to be an entrepreneur funny enough like i could i remember the beginning of getting into publishing because that was the first business I got into back in 2016. I learned a bit about it. I was about to start a publishing business and just from everything I'd heard, I was like, I knew this was going to become super successful and I was going to make a lot of money. I see you not. I remember just driving in my car, imagining driving like my own Audi with like a Rolex on my wrist and like I couldn't sleep at night because I was so excited to get started on my publishing business. Mm-hmm. because I thought I was gonna get rich quick with, with this thing. Yeah, look, naturally when you first get started, of you course, expect explosive results. No, we want to make the most money, of course. Mm-hmm. And with that, we obviously want it as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. That's where the get rich quick comes in. Naturally when you don't know much, that's what you want. So that's what you're gonna go out and look for when you look for business opportunities. Yeah. So that's why people go towards drop shipping, Amazon FBA, they see these big flashy numbers, they say, people saying, oh, I made this much money. Publishing as well. Publishing as well. And when you first get into it, you're doing just to make money. Yeah, you're basically, tr- you're, you, you're, the moves you're making are to make money next month. Yeah. You're not trying to provide real value so you can make a lot of money two years, five, ten years from now. You want to be able to make full time income so you could quit your job as fast as possible. Yeah. yeah. And you think it's going to work and it's going to be that way. And in some cases, it is. But when you approach a business like that with a get rich quick mindset, it's always short lived and it's only for the short term because you cannot have a long term sustainable business with that mindset when your number one focus is not providing value. Yeah. That honestly needs to be the number one focus of your business, whatever business it is. And that is only something you learn after being in this for like at least a year or two. Then you finally start to realize like, shit, the way I've been running my business, like just trying to make money, yeah. uh, like it does it's not work. gonna last. 
it doesn't work. It can work in the beginning. It you does can, work in the beginning. Exactly. You and can get rich quick. You can get to like six figures and drop shipping, FBA, publishing in 12 months. That's get rich quick. But it will die off because of the nature of how you got rich quick. You're not going to be there in five years. No. Right? And that's something we're learning a lot in our own business. Our number one focus, and I think this is something that other people in the publishing space don't have and they don't live this way. Yeah, no, no one talks about it. And that's it. providing the most value I possibly can to your customers and your readers. People don't care about that in publishing. Right, so let's- They really, care about their audio, their royalties. I mean, let's talk from our perspective yeah. with the course that we're creating now. Yeah, right? so AA 2.0. First thing I wanna say is like, like I was saying, this is only something you really learn and become conscious of after years of experience in it. And going through trial and error and making mistakes and failing and just having been through a lot. So it's only something that we first realized within the past five months, six months. Yeah, five, six months, now we know. So now every move we make is based on providing the most value to who we deem to be our customers. So that's why the YouTube videos has, have taken a massive jump up. Mm -hmm. They have Hiring Dane, bumping up the production quality is all about providing more value to the viewers, customers, whatever you wanna call them. So right now at this moment, Christian and I, we're working harder than we ever have in our entire lives. Let me just quickly tell you what our day looks like. People have no idea. So I wake up at about 6.15, 6.30 we meet downstairs, and seven o'clock we're at a cafe working. Um, right That's now, the new routine. Right now the courses we're working on every morning from seven to 12 o'clock. Every then, single day. Then at both 12 o'clock we eat lunch, take about a one hour break. So then about two, three o'clock in the afternoon we film YouTube videos. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. That's Let's see what time it is to see if Right now it's 3.44, so we're there just, we it's routine inception. Yeah. Yeah. We're just talking about what our, yeah, we're yeah. doing it right now. This is just our daily routine. And then after this, we're gonna film another video, and then we're gonna go to the gym, eat, go to bed, and repeat. I'm working so hard right now, making so many sac sacrifices, yet I'm making less money than I ever have. Yeah. I'm not yeah. getting paid a penny for what I'm doing at the moment, oh. but I'm working so hard. Yeah. And this is what people can't do. Yeah. They will start to put in the effort to provide value and build like a long-term business, but in the moment, they're not gonna make the money, and that means they think it's not working. Yeah. And they think it's not working, they're gonna stop. That's 99% of people. I mean, we've learned this maybe a year ago. I probably would've done the same thing. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. I'm not making money, I'm not getting paid, I'm providing value, but nothing's happening. Yeah. So without having that long-term mindset. Mm -hmm. But I just know that the work we're gonna put in now will pay off, boy, it's gonna pay off yeah. soon, yeah. right? So, so we've made, we both made a massive financial sacrifice these past few months, like massive financial sacrifice. Like you said, income is as low as it's been in a long time. We're not promoting anything, we're not trying to, yeah. not trying to make money right now. What we're right. doing right now is sitting in the background and producing the best product humanly possible that is going to provide the most value humanly possible to people. So what we were gonna do before, oh, it's funny, there's a YouTube video on our channel called like, our plan to scale to 100k a month in the next five months. Yeah, that was like that, three months ago. Look, you go look, watch it. Look so, at me. That was me wanting to make a lot of money soon. Yeah, not yeah. realizing that that comes at a cost that you can't provide the value like that. You know. Yeah. So we were going to do. We were going to scale to like 100k a month in income, and we were going to do that by running ads to just everything that we have. But what we learned was that we our started. Offer, we did start running ads. Yes, but we learned that. After a while, our core offer, our product that we're offering, the value was not good enough. It wasn't high enough. It was not valuable no. enough. This would only work for the short term. Maybe we can make those income uh, goals that we had for like a few months, but oh, it would sure die. It would, it would die off because it was not good enough to sustain that level of, of success. I want my reputation to be okay. The Mickelson twins have the best fucking products out there on in planet the, Earth. In not the whole, just in the publishing space, in the course creating space, or whatever else we move on to next, mm -hmm. right? And if we had just pumped our previous 1.0 course out like to the masses like that, that would have hurt a reputation in the long run. Not because it's bad, but it's not super fucking epic like 2.0 is going to be. Yeah. Right? It, yeah. And uh, that's the reputation that I want to have. So we're actually taking on beta testers for our new course that we're talking, talking about right now, AA 2.0. Uh, so we've gotten some feedback. I just want to show you a few things that some people have said about it. It's not important at all. It's not important at all. You can pause the video, read it if you want, just to give you an idea made a massive financial sacrifice to take a step back and provide the most value possible because that is going to be the best for us and our business and all of our customers in the long run. This all boils back to the number one thing you need to be focusing on in your business, which is the best product and service humanly possible. And the providing best, the most value. The best product and service like in the entire industry. So let's tie this a bit into like other 
business models that people are in. So with publishing, an example of that is just publishing books, publishing a ton of books and not really caring too much about the quality of your books. Will you make a lot of money in the short term? Like, can you scale to 10K a month in five months? Yes, you can. You can make, you can get rich quick and make a lot of money fast, but that income will die off. It is not sustainable. So like, yeah, you made your money fast, but who gives a fuck if the income is gone 12 months from now? Because what you did was shit and you basically tricked people into giving you money. And the same applies to drop shipping. People can scale to like 100K in one month in sales in like 30 days. But they'll only do it with like a Chinese product that has shipping times of 60 days. That'll only lead to like super pissed customers. So it'll work in the beginning, but it'll die off. So for example, in drop shipping, how you do build long-term sustainable income, you can't get rich quick in the beginning and make 100K in sales in the first month. Mm -hmm. What you would do is you would build a foundation, you would find the right supplier, you would find the right marketing streams, you would, you would hire the right managers and people, you would set up the system that will work for providing the most value, the best product, everything to the customers of your drop shipping store. And doing that, you won't get rich quick. You won't be able to make 100K in the first month. It'll take a long time before you can scale, but you build it and then that's gonna build a much bigger business that'll work for a long time because people are gonna be happy and you're not, you're not tricking people into buying your, your Chinese product that gets shipped like 90 days after they order it. Like now, that is a big thing within dropshipping. Yeah, dude, like, it's like it, just it, spam now. Like in publishing, people are making a lot of money by, with shit publishing businesses. Uh -huh. people, ain't, people are making a lot of money in dropshipping with shit dropshipping businesses. Same as Amazon FBA, but those things fucking die off. Same in courses. People are making training courses. They can make 100K and they can make a million in a year with a shit training program. Uh, so they got rich quick that way. The word gets out that, that this course is shit. But then the example. word is going to get out that the course is shit. I won't name any names, but I've heard a few names of people who are making a lot of money with courses, but in the reality, they're trash. And then that's going to die off because you get bad reviews. You're gonna have a reputation for the shit course seller, and and then you're fucked. Well, so let's wrap. That, that's why we're doing what we're doing right now. Yeah. So let's wrap this up with the grand thesis, mm -hmm. right? And that is that I see almost no one is focused on providing the most value yeah. and having the most valuable yep. book, course, product, or whatever. Yeah. So it, what I want you to take from this video it is applies to, look, to every business. What I want you to take from this video is look at whatever it is you're selling and make sure that it is the best thing it possibly can be. Yeah. So take a step back if you need to. Mm -hmm. And if like, oh, I can't take a step back, I need to make money, you need to go back to your job then. You weren't ready to quit your job then. That's basically what it is. You need to be focused on providing value in your business or else your business will be short term, your income will be short term and it's gonna die off. And I'm very happy that we learn uh, this lesson at this stage in our lives. At a, at a ripe age of just 23, we now know this going forward that that's our number one focus in everything. And, wow. and AIA 2.0 will be the first taste of that. I wanna wrap it up by saying that AIA 2.0 will be the course to teach you how to build that long-term, highly valuable publishing, publishing business. business. Exactly, so everything we just talked about will be applied to your publishing business. That's all we talk about. Right. So. And yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy about everything we're working on yeah. right now. So that wraps up this video. With all that said, comment, like, subscribe, and we need to tell you guys the magic emoji of the video. Now, I was thinking this. A lot of people watch our videos for the first time, and they don't know what the magic emoji is. What the hell are you looking at? I'm looking for ideas for the magic emoji. Why am emoji? I touching your hand? Uh -uh. You're me. The magic emoji means that if you made it to this part in the video, drop the magic emoji, and there's just some roses here. So it's the rose emoji. Yeah. The rose emoji, okay. Comment it down below. It means you watch this video to the end. Drop a comment. Tell us what you thought. Subscribe because we got some of the best publishing videos on YouTube. Not some of the best. We have the best. Like the video because you like the video. Uh, I, I hate doing these call to actions at the end. Yeah. But like you got to do them. Free training down below. Best publishing channel on YouTube. All I do is provide good value. Okay, see you in the next video.